Here we have the HMS 750. This is the smaller version of the HMS 1500, which is probably the best value for money and overall um, value package that we've, that we've tested. Unfortunately, on this one, we're seeing some strange things. Now, we've tried on two different pumps, um, but where all the other variable speed drive pumps, it'll throttle up and then throttle down to keep, um, keep the pressure that, that it needs. For this one, because it's behaving a little bit odd, up it to one shower's um, usage. As you can see in the water delivery um, on that side, it's a very strange delivery that, that you're getting. And you can see the flow as well as it lifts up, drops down, and same on the pressure. So there is a workaround to this. We can um, just go into the B1 setting and, and set it from the default 70% it drops down to up to about 90%. Um, but then it doesn't really allow you to use the, use the buffer tank much. So at this setting, it becomes stable. And if we take it, take it back down to two bar, it's working. But if it's set like this, you basically have no benefit from um, the buffer tank. Because in effect, what we told it is, your turning on and your turning off setting is at the same point. And then we are getting, um, getting the correct kind of behavior from it. Um, then we're drawing 173 watt with a small load. If we open it up to a single shower, uh, we're now at 500 liters per hour and drawing 215 watts, so very impressive. If we open a second shower, it's 270 watt and it's about a thousand liters an hour. If we open a third shower, it's about a thousand five hundred liters an hour. And we're drawing 360 watt, so very, very efficient. If we then see what we'll use if we take it up to two and a half thousand liters an hour. 595 watt for two and a half thousand liters an hour, which is very impressive. So the pump overall is very efficient. Two and a half bar with a small load. We're drawing 200 watt with a single shower. Hmm. We're only climbing to 240 watt. Two showers, 1,200 liters per hour about. We're drawing 360 watt. And with three showers, 450 watt. Let's take that up to three bar. Three bar is starting to get to a point where you can actually use it um, fairly effectively with a filter system. So at three bar with a small load, we're only drawing 245 watts, so it's still slowing down nicely. With a single shower, we are drawing 310 watt, which is very, very respectable actually. Two showers running there, we're drawing 440 watt, and now we're at about 1,300 liters per hour. With the third one, 560 watt, which is very, very good. And if we um, see what it does at two and a half thousand liters an hour, and we're still nicely able to keep the free bar, which is very good. And we're actually drawing a little bit over the rated capacity. Um, we're drawing 770 watt, but it seems to be happy to do it. Again, overshoots a bit on the um, on turning turning it off quickly. So very important to have a pressure regulator after a pump like this. If we then set it to three and a half bar, 270 watt. In a single shower, we are at about 700 liters an hour. Seems to be keeping pressure nicely still. Drawing 400 watt. Second shower added at 1,400 liters an hour. Still keeping pressure well and 530 watt. If we add a third shower, about 1,950 liters per hour, and um, still keeping keeping pressure fairly well. We're at 680 watt. Then try and do two and a half thousand liters an hour. Okay, now we 
we're at a point where it's showing 3.1 bar on its gauge so we've reached the maximum it can deliver and that's at 785 watt power draw it's out of interest to see if we can do four bar on this pump you can hear it's still throttling back on the vsd even at four bar and um, it's 345 watt and with a single shower we're doing about 750 liters an hour very nice actually keeping the pressure still at four bar and um, at 470 watt so we had a second shower and 640 watt we had the third shower at about 2000 liters an hour and we're sitting at 750 watts so at its rated max but starting to lose a little bit of pressure there and then if we try two and a half thousand liters an hour okay and then at that it can only basically keep keep about three bar while drawing 800 watt so it's not getting not getting where it wanted to let's just have a look can it perhaps actually get to four and a half bar it's actually still throttling down at four and a half bar it's actually overshooting it a bit that's very impressive for a pump in this class um, and it's drawing 390 watt uh, for perspective the easybox mini was drawing close to maximum current to reach this pressure so that's very good a single shower at, at four and a half bar it seems to be doing it yeah that's very impressive um, it's maintaining four and a half bar and it's drawing 540 watt 540 watt for four and a half bar is yeah that's actually outdoing the easybox mini by a decent margin if we had a second shower yeah, then we start to lose pressure so we're doing with with the second shower we had about 4.2 or 4.3 bar so that's at the limit of what the pump can provide and we're drawing 680 watt if we had a third one then we start to drop more significantly in pressure so then we are over what the the pump can deliver it's flat out at 750 watt and we're getting about 3.77 bar pressure there so actually overall very impressive very good power consumption it does better than the easybox mini at higher pressures which is very impressive for a pump that's significantly lower cost the one thing we did notice to get this pump to work properly where you have to set it out of the box um, its target pressure drops to to above 90 percent so that in effect it's not using the pressure tank the larger version of this the 1.5 kilowatt ones work amazingly well with a pressure tank um, unfortunately on this one if you start using the settings to really use pressure tanks it um, it starts to behave a bit more like a dump pump but overall actually a very nice pump and it's stainless steel so don't need to worry about corrosion can use it on most waters and very power efficient